Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I thought I would do some sorting of my fossil office. So I am currently literally sat on top of everything um, but there's loads of like crates below me which literally when I've gone fossil hunting I've come back, emptied all my finds into like a tub and put it under this desk waiting for me to sort it and I haven't sorted it and there's stuff from I think everything around here is like two years old or younger. Um, so I thought it's time, because I can't go out hunting and actually add to it, it's time to actually sort some of it. And as some of you may know, I'm doing an international masters come September, so it's time to sort it, I think anyway. And I keep telling myself, like for most of it, I keep saying, oh, I'll just prep that when I get an air tool, or, you know, we'll just keep that there until I get air tools. And it's like, well, actually a lot of this I can prep without the use of air tools, and it just needs a good soak, a scrub, and maybe a little nail on it. So I need to stop making excuses for myself because I can't get air tools currently because um, it's really nice actually. I was, I'm going to go and test them all out before I make make the purchase because they are a lot of money and I want to make sure the one I get is right for me. And um, I believe it's Zoic Paleo Tools. I might be pronouncing that wrong. I really apologize if I am. I'll put it down below in the description box so if any of you are after air tools you can check them out, especially if you know what you want. They're really helpful there but they've been really kind to me and said I can actually go and test the tools out before I make the purchase. So I'm gonna wait till after lockdown, actually test them out and then do it just because I don't want to order it, get it wrong, and you know, I, I have no idea how they all work, all the bits I need, like they do, they have a really nice um, fossil preparation starter kit, which is what I was thinking about, but then just being able to test all the tools, it puts me at so much ease. So that's what I'm going to do instead. So for now, all the prepping I'm able to do is with a hammer, chisel, nail, water, maybe some vinegar, that could work too. So. I'm gonna see what I can do, but I'm gonna go through some of the tubs because I, I literally can't remember what I found. Like, I don't know what's in what tub. So I'm gonna go through them, put aside a load of stuff that I can start prepping, um, but I thought it might be fun for you guys to see some of my finds straight from the beach um, because they haven't moved in, since I found them. So I thought it would be fun. Um, but yeah, I do hope you're all doing well. I hope this period is has been okay for you. It's a bit crazy, this lockdown. Um, but yeah, stay safe, stay healthy, sending love to you all, um, and yeah, let's get to it. Okay, I'm using this lovely tub to put all the potential fossils in that might just need a wash or just little bits of clean up, basically. So this is the tub that will then come into my house to actually get some prep done on them. Um, so it's just kind of to try and organise it whilst I go through all the stuff. So I'm going to start with what's under here, so maybe go for... Literally, like, look, this is they're all wrapped up still. Let's have a look. And I literally couldn't tell you what's in each of the bags or tubs, it's terrible. Okay, what do we have? It's like Christmas. <laughs> okay, we have part of an ammonite. I'm guessing if I remember this piece, which I think I do. I have the rest of it. So I'm going to leave that there. Let's see if the rest of it's in this bag. If so, this one might just need some good gluing. Yeah, that, that. <laughs> There's a piece of it. So I'm going to see if I can put this lovely jigsaw together. So far, so good. <laughs> Does this belong to it? It might do. Nothing on it, apparently. Aha! And that's a big bit as well, so... That... That's actually a really nice piece. So it's in three pieces. But it looks like that. So I need to clean up the middle. I should be able to do that with a nail, maybe? Um, and also, if any of you know, am I meant to glue the fossil before or after I prep it? I've always wondered that, because I've got a few that are in like a few pieces and I don't know whether to glue the pieces together now and then prep it, or whether to prep them as individual pieces and then put them together. Um, so if you guys have any advice on that, I'd be all ears. Um, and then I'm guessing this piece is this bit here. Now which side? Are you gonna fit like that? 
I know it fits on it somewhere so I'm just gonna give this one the benefit of the doubt but yeah so that one I should be able to prep and I think it will make a lovely piece to go in the house when it's done like look isn't that just so cute it's really sweet oh and I'm probably gonna break it trying to hold it like that but right let me put those pieces back together okay we're gonna put that one separately to one side because I don't want to shove it into the tub just because it might get damaged in the tub so we like that one just a big bellum night but that's cool that can just be washed and then put in my I kind of have like a bellum night fossil fragment jar thing that'll just look cute in that same with all these little ammonites here um, they're all very sweet I think after I give them a wash just put them in my little jar um, and then they just look nice in my room just because they're I kind of have a lot of them and I think once that jar is full I'll then donate any that are good enough quality for schools to use because geology and paleontology I believe has been put on the curriculum so kids get to learn about it now which I'm really excited about so it might be nice for schools to actually have some you know show and tell options for the kids um, rather than just like showing them a picture like they can actually hold them and look at them and be like wow this is really cool because they are really cool <laughs> um, this one's kind of it's an ammonite but it's not my best ammonite so if you look like, there's no you can just see like the edge bit um, probably clean up a ball with a air pen but whether it's worth cleaning up but we'll wash it um, it can go in my jar <laughs> And what do we have here? We have a brachiopod by the look of it. Again, this one might be nice to just soak. See how it turns out. Just looks like that. Nice little one. So this is a piece of a big nautilus or nautiloid. Um, needs a good wash. This is all mud in that bit there. I don't know if you guys can see what's coming off of it but you can see the chambers um, and you can see the chunk of it it's, it's big um, so I'll see what this one looks cleaned up um, I kind of like them as little pebbles um, it won't go in like my prime collection but I've got a few nice sea worn ammonites that like are from big ammonites but they're you know fragments but they're kind of rounded like this one um, and it might just be nice to put them in a basket somewhere in my house, like I save for everything. <laughs> so I'll just put that one in there. Then this is another piece of a nautilus. Nautiloid, nautilus. Is one for plural? I'm going to look this up. I don't know if both of them... Can you say nautilus and nautiloid? Is one more correct than the other? Nautilus. So Nautilus is fine, and Nautiloid. I think Nautilus is the correct way to talk about them. Maybe? Correct me if I'm wrong. Is it Nautilus or, Nautilus or Nautiloid? I'm just going to combine the word in a minute. Right, what else do we have? This is this bag's nearly empty. Oh, that's quite a nice chunky bellum knight. Oh, they just look like bullets, don't they? It's crazy to think these were squids. Kind of cool. Very cool. Now we've got teeny tiny ammonites. Oh, these are very sweet. But as you can see, my hands are getting covered in dust because these just, they all just need a really good wash. Some more bits of ammonites. These ones, see, ones like this, they're just not... Compared to my other finds, they're not great. So I think after I wash these, I won't put them all in my jars. The ones that aren't quite up to my standard, I'll put in my parents' lovely shingle area in the garden and um, where I have a designated patch where I can put, you know, any of the rocks that <laughs> either are breakaways from when I'm prepping them or whether they're just rocks that no longer make the cut. It's very sad to say. I feel bad doing it. <laughs> but they still look pretty in the garden. Now these are just... These just nice crystals. I literally am a magpie. Anything sparkly, I pick it up as well. So we've got some nice calcite crystals these look like. Um, this one's quite pretty. So, um, yeah. I mean, I'll keep the calcite crystals in the bag for now. 
Um, I don't think I need them, but I'll, I'll find a spot for them somewhere, whether it's inside the house or outside. And then this is just another sweet little ammonite. So that can go in the wash box, I think. Another bag. Okay, so this is, see, this is probably more up my street. This is crystallized ammonite fragments. So still fossils, but also crystals. I think that's the best combination rather than just calcite crystals. So here you can see, can you see down the chamber? So that's an ammonite on its side cut through. So if you look at this whirl, it's been sliced down like that. So um, I'm trying to make it focus. So it's as if the ammonite's looking at you like that, if that makes sense. It's just obviously a lot pretty, a lot more pretty because it's um, obviously a chamber, so it's got crystallized, which is lovely. So I think that's that's quite sweet. And you can see obviously the outer world, the inner worlds there. So you can kind of see a nice side profile of it, but I'll give it a wash, see what it looks like. And then here you've got obviously an ammonite lying on its you know on its side flat <laughs> um, but it's been eroded through so you can actually see the chambers inside so that's the outer world and that's one of the inner worlds and then there are all the chambers that have gone crystallized which is lovely so with this one you can maybe see it a bit better so that's the they're the worlds there and then if I turn it you guys can see all the crystals there and you can also see like the side profile here with all the crystals so they're quite they're lovely pieces and quite unusual so I like those but it's whether whether I need all of them I think I do not then this one I think is just crystals like the first piece I showed you but um I think this one's a nicer piece so I don't need to keep all just the calcite crystals so I'll go through that just keep the best ones and put the others to sparkle outside um which I think will be nice then, God, I'm not, I haven't even made a dent in this. Like, I'm literally picking stuff from this tiny corner here, and these are just the overflow bags. Like, I haven't even done a whole tub yet. Oh, it's going to be a long process, but at least I've got things to keep me occupied um, for a while. See, this is quite cool. So, this ammonite's lost all its inner whirls, but then it's still complete. So, I just make it into a really chunky necklace. Just put a string through it. <laughs> I think it's kind of cool and I love all the suture lines and you can see the ribs it's got a lot of detail for a, a worn ammonite I think anyway I think it's a cool piece we like cool pieces so this one needs a wash then this bag is just full of little bits and bobs like what even is this I'm gonna guess an ammonite because I can see the edge of it. I don't. I think that's going in the nap pile. It's just nothing obvious. Oh, wait. Knew that would happen the next piece I pick. Okay, so it's definitely an ammonite. Now, how do you guys join together? I'm confused. I'm putting them both to one side. I'll figure that out later. <laughs> okay, this bag is just full of cute little ammonites. This one's pretty perfect. Can you guys see that? Both sides as well. I think that's a lovely, just good example of an ammonite. And then this one, obviously, not perfect, but still a nice piece, I think. And then this one, you've just got one side but I think it's it has potential to be nice and it might clean up with a nice nail I think the middle bit but the back isn't but we'll give them a wash see how they turn out this is another piece to the piece that I'm trying to figure out how it all goes together <laughs> I tell you fossil hunting is just being good at jigsaws well, maybe not the hunting part, but once you find them, you've got to be good at jigsaws and expect lots of missing pieces. That's normally how it goes. <laughs> so 
I'm guessing this piece is part of my missing puzzle down there, but you can see it is a very pretty ammonite. Um, it's just kind of all over the place at the moment. I've currently got four bits for it, but I've got loads of nice ammonites. This, this is a good sight, this bag. So these all just need a nice clean, and then I'll put them in my jar, I think. Just like that. So they're not all perfect. Some are missing their centers, but I think they're imperfectly perfect. So they've got nice ribbing on, nice detail. This is a lovely one. Da, da, da. Very pretty. And then just loads of, loads of diddy ones. Like that. So they all need a wash. Uh, I'll just put the rest of them in the bag. I don't think you guys want to see six billion teeny tiny ones. You get the gist. I picked up a lot of ammonites. <laughs> Look how many there are. I'll just show you my handful in a minute when I actually get them all out. So these are just so sweet. These are the types of ones I think when I'm older I'll have a pot at the front of my house and so little kids if they you know like fossils they can just come and I can give them a few they can start their collections because there's only so many ammonites I can have um, but just look at that <laughs> aren't they brilliant right what's next uh... <laughs> so we've got a chunk here I it might be of an ammonite world, or it might be of a shell, um, but it's got some strong, coarse ribbing going on there, so I'll give that a wash and have a better look at it, but it's a nice fragment. Um, that's quite a pretty one, I think that will clean up quite nice. Whoa! <laughs> this is what I need to be careful of, they've got, they're covered in like a mud, so I think I'm holding rock, but it's actually just the mud, so that bit just crumbled off gonna hold it a bit stronger now <laughs> so it looks like that so it's not like a hundred percent perfect but it's pretty damn close and I love the ribbing and you can literally look into it and see the sort of suture lines as well I just think that is so pretty just a really lovely piece and I really you can look at the detailing down the edge of it as well you can see like the venter there love it so in that goes now what else do I have in here? So I've got some big pieces, not whole pieces, but it's probably, again, covered in mud. Um, probably time for me to give them a wash and a brush and then work out what I'm doing with them. It might be that I make a nice area in my garden um, for them all, because this is like a big ammonite, but obviously it's only half. Um, I don't think I've got the other half. It doesn't look like it. So yeah, I can maybe make a garden feature with all my ammonites. I'll get planning. I think that could be quite cute because I just, I can't justify keeping every single piece of an ammonite, whether it's whole or not. Because <laughs> I do have too many in that case. Now this is a nice piece. So this, this might clean up quite nicely. So it looks like it's all there, but it has had some distortion post deposition. So you can kind of see these cracks here. But um, it's all in one place and it's all there. So I'll see what the middle looks like when I clean it. But it looks like that. And then the back of it, we're talking there's a lot of mud on this. Like this is all just crumbling. I don't know if yeah, you guys can see it crumbling off. So this one I probably need to soak for a while. But this, you can see it cracking. Like there's a lot of mud that's going to come off the back of this. So I'm interested to see what this one looks like when it's done. So we'll put that in the tub as well. My tub is starting to get full, so I'll probably call this video in a minute. Um, and then I'll process everything in that bucket there, and then I'll come back and do the next lot. I think I need to literally start like attacking this and actually like processing it rather than just looking through it. Um, so this one I'm just trying to demud it a little bit, but it's not whole, but it's cute. So it's obviously been been broken in two by the looks of it, but this, the, you can see all the worlds here and you still have the centerpiece which is the most important 
so it's broken it's not broken like down the middle you can st still see everything kind of looks like a rainbow which is cute but again might look nice in the garden somewhere rather than in my collection um because i've got lovely whole ones of that same ammonite species so it's whether do i need it um these might be nice to give to schools the sort of like fragmented ones where they can still see like all the ribbing and the shell shape i'll have to go through it all so these are just nice fragments but again i don't need them all <laughs> i need to think of what to do with the fragments maybe i'll get artistic and use the fragments and then draw like a picture like finish the ammonite if that makes sense but draw the bit missing ah might be onto something there i'll become an artist in this lockdown period we'll see probably probably not but maybe i'll give it a go i kind of like that idea so ah, <laughs> this one is so sweet look there's a teeny tiny shell in the middle can you guys see that's so sweet and i love how it's right smack down in the middle now this one I'm not going to wash just yet because I'd be worried that that shell will just pop off um, and it's not overly dirty like it's got some lovely detailing on it like that is just that's just really cute so I'm going to keep that one up here for now um, and I'll deal with that one not in bulk so oh, like, look at all of this I think I'm going to leave this bag for next time so we're going to call the video there, I think that was a lot and most of it ammonites, a few bannamites, I think one brachypod wasn't it? So I've got a bit of an imbalance in my collecting but that's just all the sites I went to over the past few years and obviously my dissertation was ammonite based so hence the ammonite hoarding but I am just a little bit partial to ammonites. Don't know what it is about them, I'm just obsessed with them, I just love them. So I'm going to process this bucket, <laughs> um, I'll show you the finished product of it maybe in another video but I hope you guys enjoyed just seeing my bits and bobs in my lovely fossil office. Let me know if you like this video and I will keep, keep filming <laughs> all the other bits and bobs. Can you see all these boxes over here, all this wonderful stuff? <laughs> I think this one here, I'm going to bring a sledgehammer down on it. Um, maybe I'll do that at some point. I've got to think where to sledgehammer it, I'm thinking on shingle. Um, just to take some of the impact yeah I'll have to work that one out but that can be quite fun because I know there's a big fossil in that rock um, it's just not whole because obviously I can see the cross section through it but it might be quite fun to see what it looks like when I get it out so that'll be another video anyway I'm rambling so hope you enjoyed seeing all my bits and bobs let me know if you did and I'll film all the other stuff under this lovely desk I hope you're staying safe in lockdown I am sending my love hopefully I can provide you with some entertainment during this time and you can see my literally hoarding of fossils um but I am trying to get on top of it and I'm trying to like sort it so by the end of this lockdown period my parents will have fossils for shingle and I'm sure they'll hate me for it but no they're they're very supportive I am very lucky um but yeah thank you so much for watching I'll pop my Instagram down below if you'd like to check that out and yeah stay safe and well and thank you so much for watching